What is up everybody, this is Omega Belmum here with of course another figure and statue unboxing for today. I got a pretty awesome looking statue that I just got in. Uh, if you can see from right here already, and you probably see from the name already, this is actually Raiden from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance or the Metal Gear series. Uh, this was going to be a pretty cool figure. It's a pretty tall figure and uh, it's a pretty uh, big figure. Just the fact that I think it's a 1 6 scale uh, figure, so it's about 12 inches tall. But uh, the fact that he's 12 inches tall, which is not, you know, which is good. I like it. But uh, the, the problem that I might have is to figure out where to put him is because. Uh, he holds out a sword that pretty much goes for a pretty long distance, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I have a place for him. But I, you know what? I'll figure. I'll figure. I'll figure it out. So, anyways, like I said, this is a writing from Metal Gear Rising. Uh, this is, uh, of course, a one-six scale PVC statue. Uh, you can see from the box up here. Uh, you have a little bit of window here. You probably cannot see anything in there. Uh, there is. The figure in there, you see a little bit of the face, uh, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty hard to see, anyways, uh, when you're looking into that window. So nothing to, you know, nothing you're, nothing you're missing. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. But uh, this is about, like I said, 12 inches tall. Uh, he stands, yeah, stands about 12 inches tall. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of uh, Raiden, mostly during Metal Gear Rising because he's a badass in that. So, <laughs> uh, and when we saw him the second time, you uh, know. In uh, Metal Gear uh, Solid 4, uh, which he was a badass in that one too. So, uh, but this was actually f him and in Metal Gear Rising. So that's the suit. But uh, we're just gonna take a quick spin of the box here. You see, okay, like I said, you see the box here. Uh, you see a little bit of window there. You see just a little bit of the figure. Uh, and then of course, you have a whole bunch of you know names here. You got uh, the sculptor's profile, the painter's profile, and things like that. I won't name everything there but the producer and stuff like that so uh that's a lot of names i have to read off so just like metal gear solid uh you know there's a lot of names to go into making the figure or the, the game and this figure the same way too uh so but uh the figure is actually from gecko so they've done a few uh gaming figures uh like the silent hills one they're doing uh of course the metal gear solid uh ground zeroes one with a uh, big boss and uh, another uh, Ra Raiden uh, variant, which is the one from Metal Gear Solid uh, uh, Ground Zero, so it's a different one than this one. So that one doesn't have a sword. This one does, which I'm a big fan of. But <laughs> but uh, you got goes doing some pretty cool stuff I've seen lately. Uh, mostly their guts one that's coming out, which I'm I have that on pre-order too. So uh, we'll see that when it comes out. Uh, then we'll take a quick uh, look at the box, uh, the back of the box here. You get the uh, uh, the a look at uh, some artwork here by the original guy who's done a lot of the artworks for uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, you know, you see some pretty cool stuff, so pretty awesome stuff. You don't really get to see anything inside the box here, so uh, once we open it up, that's when that's when we get to to look at it. So, uh, and this side, of course, we get a little bit more about uh, you know a little bit of backstory for Metal Gear Rising, and then the uh, rating as a character and things like that. Uh, so nothing little, nothing too different. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for the box here. So uh, we're just gonna take a look at the figure. All right. So he does come with a few little bit of parts. Uh, if you see, this is the base actually. Uh, of course, you can see the peg going there. I'll set him up in a bit, but I just want to give you guys a quick look at a lot of the parts he comes with. Uh, he got some cool little weapons here, uh, like a ton of them. Like very a lot of weapons that you could kind of customize them with. Uh, I'm going to go with this one because I like the red blade. Uh, then, of course, some more. A lot. A lot of more weapons. And you got him holding a, the spinal cord of one of the bad guys. And, he, and then if you know, if, you're, if you ever play the game, he smashes it and he gains like a little bit of energy back from that. Uh, he does come with a few different types of faces there. You see from there. And then there also then just come with an extra hand I don't know what this I think this one holds the weapon yep so whatever what when you, there's a lot of accessories so you kind of customize them the way you want but uh, let's take a quick look at when everything is all set up all right so this is how he looks like put together I just think he looks freaking fantastic I 
do love the fact that you're able to change a lot of his accessories around. You can put whatever sword you want on him. I certainly like the red sword. Uh, I'm a big fan of that, so I think that looks cool. Even though his other swords are pretty cool, like his original sword. That looks cool because it's super huge. But I do like the samurai sword uh, with the red, uh, you know, edge on that. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. But pretty cool stuff. His base is awesome. Uh, I do like the fact that there's a little little guy <laughs> under his base there, uh, you know, being chopped up in half, and then he holding his, uh, the, the dude's, you know, spinal cord there, uh, which looks freaking awesome. Like I said, the little cool little details to this thing here, his face, wise, uh, there's a part of his hair here where you can actually take out, and then, uh, put in this thing here, put in a new, this is the the original one. And then you put in the new little piece of uh, bangs that he has on the uh, front there, which can hold up to the the red or the black visor here. So, pretty cool stuff. But I do like his pose. I think the pose is fantastic. Uh, I do like the fact that he looks pretty cool in that pose. It looks superior, mostly the fact that he's actually <laughs> standing on the, the, the person there. Uh, but, I mean, he, I think he just looks freaking awesome. I Like I said... Uh, I'm a big fan of Raiden and uh, Raiden or whatever you want to call him. I'm gonna call him Raiden. <laughs> uh, he's a big fan. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that, and I think I think he just looks freaking fantastic right there. Uh, the way he's posed, I think he looks way too, way too cool. You know, and I do like the details that they have in his armor. His arm, his like more like uh, metallic armor is actually almost look almost looks really glossy. It looks like it's really metallic. So I'm, that's freaking awesome to me. Uh, I do love the hair, how the hair is falling this way. So I'm guessing it's kind of windy. So it's kind of flowing that way. Uh, like I said, detail-wise, I do love even even this little guy here. This guy that's chopped in half. He's detailed too. <laughs> uh, so I do love that. And then of course in the base there, pretty simple. There's uh, nubs on the on the on the side there. And you just I'll uh, put the you know the figure in. Nothing too difficult. It's a pretty hefty uh, figure. Uh, the box was a little light, and I'm like, oh man, this box is going to be light, but when you actually get to the figure, uh, it just feels a little bit more he heavier, pretty awesome stuff. Um, the base is cool, if you can see here, you actually see some of the insides here, and then you can touch it, it looks like, ugh, and then you can see the white blood coming out here. Uh, the base, to me, looks freaking awesome, looks like he's on the ground, a uh, little cracked ground there, like they were fighting on it, and then, the, you know, with the guy chopped in half, blood coming out. Uh... For real, if I was to really rate this this figure here, I think I would give it a 10 out of 10, man. I love the figure. I love the character, so that helps a lot. And um, I do love the fact that it comes with so many, you know, different accessories that you can put on so many different swords. Um, and the fact that it's on a cool base, a smaller base, uh, you know, usually these figures come in like a humongous base where it's like, it's hard to find a place to put them. But uh, he comes with a smaller base. And a detailed base, at least, with that, mostly with the other, like, half-quarter uh, figure on the bottom here, which is pretty detailed, too, so it's almost as, as detailed as uh, Raiden, uh, Raiden, so, um, I mean, he looks fantastic all throughout, and, you know, I'm really looking forward to the other Gecko uh, figures, because, you know what, I have that Berserk uh, Guts one coming out with that, too. And I'm super looking forward to that and see how it is. If it could, you know, stand up with this one. Uh, like I said, totally, if you guys could go and buy this one, if you guys are a big uh, Raiden, Raiden fan, I said go out and buy this one. This is an awesome figure for a pretty good price uh, and pretty good size. So it's an awesome figure. You, you know, the old, his older ones from Metal Gear Solid 4, I've been looking for them. They are a little bit hefty in price. They're like maybe in the four or $500, maybe even more than that. I can't remember, but... Uh, if I remember right, they were a little bit more than that, so, uh, and if you're a big fan of the Rising game, uh, you know what, go ahead and buy this game, I mean, this, this figure here, I mean, he looks fantastic throughout the whole, the whole figure, I, I think he looks super fantastic, so, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, little bit of an unbo unboxing and review for, uh, the Ra Raiden figure here, uh, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see everybody next time, peace out.